Hey, what up, folks? Welcome to Ontario History Vlogs. Thank you very much for tuning in. Happy Friday to each and every one of you. Since we're all under the stay-at-home order still, I figured that I'll talk about my new movie, Irises of Basketball, that I'm in the process of creating now. It takes place here in Ontario back in 1908. And uh, we're going to be representing Chafee High School, which was then known at, as Ontario High School at the time. And it's about the 1908 girls basketball team uh, at Chafee High School and a problem that they encounter. The girls basketball league is in jeopardy to shut down. And also one of the girls' mother does not want her playing. So, you know, she has to keep it low key. But her mother finds out. And once her mother does, something has to change. Something does change for better or for worse. You have to find out by watching the film. This is also a forced perspective film. I'm calling it a forced perspective film as well because I am creating models for this short film. I kind of have to because Ontario looks nothing like what it did back in 1908. Nowadays, it's a whole different world. So I have to bring back that, that look, bring back that style. And I'm doing so by creating some models. For example, the Avenue Boarding House, which was built in the 1880s. I just finished that. It's about 95% complete, actually. And I'll be showing you that in just a second, but I'm trying to represent these landmarks here in Ontario as well. Here's a picture of the boarding house back in the 1890s and what it looks like today. It used to sit on the corner of Euclid Avenue and 4th Street, but in the 20s they moved it to Princeton Avenue. And that's exactly what I'm trying to recreate. I'm trying to recreate what it looked like back in 1908. This film will have four models that I'm creating. The old Chafee building, the Avenue boarding house, the trolley and bandstand on Euclid Avenue, and an old house that used to exist here in Ontario, which would be one of the main girls' home. This model is simply made out of cardboard, toothpicks, balsam wood, poster board, dirt, branches from my backyard, things of that nature. It also lights up as well. I created a lighting system here. I got these uh, lights from a Halloween canvas from the 99 cent store that I've had for quite some time. There it is. And once, uh, once it's time to shoot, I put it back here so that way the windows will be illuminated. Also, I think it's appropriate to mention this 1908 camera that my friend John made. Looks pretty darn cool. An actual one is about $1,500. I can't afford that. I almost have a full cast, but I do need one more female to play a main role, Jeannie Kincaid. Uh, I'm looking for a female around 35 years old, I would say, 35 to 40 years old, to play this role because she already has a 15-year-old daughter. And uh, Jeannie Kincaid was a real person and is, in fact, buried at Bellevue Memorial Park with her daughter, Grace Kincaid. Every name in this movie was a real person who was once living here in the city of Ontario over 100 years ago. Which makes it that much more important to me to get it right and to make this film look good. So if there are any females out there in their late 30s interested in playing Jeannie Kincaid, please let me know. My email is in the description below. Alrighty, folks, that will conclude this vlog. I appreciate you all watching. I'm Jerry James with Ontario History Vlogs, reminding you to live, learn, and to explore. Until the next time, have a great weekend. See ya!